All right, here's a little introduction, a um, little short series I'm gonna do. This ugly thing here is a uh, AEBL shop knife of mine. This knife, see it's paracord with some duct tape on it, full flat grind, taper blade. It's one I did a while back and I um, didn't use my water grinding system. I don't think I had it at the time. The one I have now, my cool mist, and I actually burn a spot. And once I burn it, just you know, kind of threw the knife to the side and said, "Okay." Well, I got it out, I cleaned it up, made a shop knife out of it. Well, been using it, so I got it out again today, and I re-ground um, it again. Um, took, I don't know, maybe two and a half millimeters off the edge or so. Um, cleaned it up again, reground it completely flat, and I've sharpened it. So what we're gonna do with this knife is we're gonna beat on it and see what it can take. So we'll be back. All right, first thing we're gonna do, just because we can, we've got a golf ball. We'll put this golf ball this old vice here. So you can see. Alright. Watch my foot in here. So we got the knife. Alright, oh, before I forgot to tell you, this knife is not super lean. When I reground it and thickened it up, um, it is about 14 thousandths up to the tip. All right, and then at the tip, it's about 25,000. So the tip's fairly stout. Again, this is you know made for a shop knife for me. Um, uh, the edge angle is somewhere between somewhere between 12 and 14 degrees per side. I sharpen it freehand on uh, DMT stones, but that's somewhere where it's at. And hammer. Off ball. This was a top flight 3XL. Do. I'm gonna flip this camera around and use the better side. Say I will. Well, trying to flip the camera around. Anyway, we'll just won't worry about it. But there's the back of the knife. 
where I was beating on it. And there's the blade.